Hello, a blessed vocation Sunday to you. So, do you feel that God may be calling you to the religious life? If yes, why not consider joining us, the Franciscan Friars? We are a male religious order made up of brothers and priests who live the gospel life after the example of St. Francis of Assisi. The whole life of St. Francis was one of inner conversion, which allowed him to detach himself from riches and to live simply and humbly like Jesus. Francis was joyful, he was merciful, and he treated everyone and every living creature with utter care and respect, simply because God created everyone and everything. Therefore, if you are inspired by the life of St. Francis, and if you want to imitate the poor and humble Christ, if you feel that nature is alive with the presence of God, then perhaps the Lord may be calling you to become a Franciscan friar. So, Pastor, yes. So, what is Vocation Sunday? Wow. Um, okay. Chim, right? Chim, man. I think Vocation Sunday is a time of the year for the church, the people of God, you and me, to celebrate. Celebrate God's call in our life and how we are responding, all have responded. So how do you know or differentiate a call for religious and into priesthood? Well, first and foremost, when we become Franciscan friars, we are called to be brothers. So mm -hmm. that's basically a religious. The priesthood is an office, and certainly it's not for everyone. Uh, but if you are called to be a priest, then this is the ideal place where you have a community as well as you can have the additional responsibility as a priesthood. Uh, it's a difficult question to answer. It's a discernment process. For me, I chose the brotherhood because I think I can serve the Lord better as a brother. And that's an individual call. So you, you have to make that decision. It's not easy. I was a seminarian and I'm struggling to get back to the seminary since I have a girlfriend who is not willing to let me go. What should I do? I really desire to fulfill what I believe in. I left the seminary almost two years ago. Thank you for this very interesting question. Um, it's not easy, right, to give up something that's meaningful um, to us. Yeah. For example, a relationship. But the fact about it is, um, all of us have been given one life. And the question is, what am I going to do with my one life? So it's a very, very crucial question for everybody to answer. Now, whether God is calling you to be uh, a husband and a father, or whether or not God is calling you to be a priest or a friar, it all depends on the Lord. He is the source of all of vocations. So if there's anyone to ask, it is God. I'm sure you have been praying about this. How to take it to the next level? My advice, seek out a um, spiritual director, an experienced spiritual director. So that together you and him or her can uncover the will of God for you. Once you have understood yourself better, your deeper motivations, whether or not uh, what is prompting you to, to seek a religious life, and once you have found the answer, then just go ahead. Uh, don't look back. Trust in the Lord. Everyone called by the Lord is equipped by the Lord. So I wish you the very best. I hope that you'll be able to find a wonderful SD for yourself and discover uh, the will of God and begin this wonderful journey.
Like, what is your formation like, and what is the day like? Okay, I'm in my first year of postulancy, so life is really an introduction into Franciscan community life, fraternity, and Franciscan spirituality. So it's the day is with prayers with the brothers, uh, time studying in the seminary, uh, time with our formators to talk about the discernment process and more prayer and more prayer and eating, having fun, mm. enjoying life, community life. And yeah, just discovering more about who I am and what God has planned for me. So that's what the day is like, fun. Because this is a um, formation house, so it covers three elements, mm. the humanistic elements, the spiritual elements, and also the intellectual elements. But maybe I would like to add more uh, in terms of our in-house formation, because um, um, the friars in the initial formation normally gathered once a week for our in-house formation to discuss or to focus on our Franciscan um, sources and also talk about our personal growth and development, gardening, mm. um, exercise of course, house cleaning, uh, flower arrangement, baking, singing, practice and marketing. We try to include these activities during the day and um, we end our day with night prayer at, at 30 in the evening. To become a friar, do we need a high schooling certificate? In this time and age, a high school certificate is needed, certainly. There is a need to do philosophy study, theology study, so high school certificate certainly comes in very useful. In the past, because we have many brothers who have no basic education, so they start as day brothers doing skill training. But now, you know, it's different. Important thing about a friar is the attitude. It's not about your qualification. If you are willing and you are desiring to be a friar, come and check, just check us out. And uh, certainly a high school certificate is useful, but it is um, not really crucial. Again, I, I emphasize that it's the attitude and it's the desire. And if you have a calling, you know, you always don't feel shy to approach the friars. Betul lah. Betul. Next question. To be part of the friars, to join the friars, do we need to know or discover or have full knowledge about the friars? What do you think? What do you think? I I knew about the friars before I joined because my parish was a Franciscan parish in Singapore. So I like the way they did things. I fell in love with them, that's why I joined them. But I heard you didn't know the friars right before you joined. Yeah. I only know about the Franciscan sisters. I don't know about the Franciscan friars because we don't have any friars back in Sabah. Only after I joined and I learned more about the Franciscans. So I don't think, for me, I don't think I need um, full knowledge about the Franciscans before joining. And I think there is no full knowledge until you experience living it. Exactly. How can the friars help us or lead us to a deeper relationship with God during this time of isolation? My dear friends, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, all of us are now a subject to some form of alteration, whether we like it or not. And each of us is dealing with it in different ways, knowingly, reluctantly, or ingeniously. The impact of this insidious virus has made us relook at the key areas of our life. For example, the way we conduct ourselves, our work, our relationships with our loved ones, and the list goes on. In fact, 
I would like to think that during this time of isolation as an opportunity for us to examine our lives and to notice what we have been clinging to and what we have been neglecting during this collective time of desolation. I often ask myself, my dear friends, how have I been responding to the movement control order or circuit breaker? Where do I see myself in my relationship with God during this time of isolation? And how do I fill up my time during this moment? The, the Fries have been working very hard in providing spiritual nourishment for all of us to ponder and reflect. Um, for example, my brothers who are ministering in St. Anne, Kuching, um, are offering to the faithful a new way to pray in the digital age by accepting prayers, prayer requests via text. The intentions are received on a Facebook page and will be included collectively in the Friars prayers twice a day and a Mass. It is like faith at your fingertips. And those of my brothers who are in Singapore have been working very hard, diligently, in providing daily reflections for all of us. So in fact, my dear, my dear friends, during these times of uncertainty, please do know that the Friars have been thinking of you and praying for you and your loved ones. What sort of fun activities do you do? Fun? No, you don't have fun. You think? Yep. Fun's not in our dictionary. We are very serious people, right? Are you sure? <laughs> oh, fun. I don't know. <laughs> fun, no. Mm. What's fun? I think hip hop together. Tabata hip hop. Mm, 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 yes. Mm. That's not too bad. What about you? What's fun for you? Cooking. Mm. Cooking? Yes. Because um, I can create my own um, recipe. Mm. And then the fun thing is when the prior, when the brothers um, say something good for you. Mm. Is it like the banana cake that we made yesterday? Yes. No. Sort of. Oh. Alright. What is the most challenging thing as a friar? What is it for you? For me, the community life is because um, Franciscan is an international order. So we come from a different, different country. So for, for us as a friar, we need to understand each other. The key is to be open. Accept each other. I agree. As a friar, Franciscan friar, the most challenging thing is to live our call to be a friar and to be a minor. So to always have the humility to ask for forgiveness, to ask your brother, please forgive me. I think that's the most challenging thing. Yes. When it comes to the time of distress and start questioning your vocation, how do the friars or how do you cope and overcome this doubt? I think it's something very good because it, it means that you are seriously um, discerning. This doubt will come for sure, but it is because of our community, our fraternity. Um, there are some brothers that you can talk to. I have this, this um, second Corinthian chapter 12, which says that God say, my grace is sufficient for you. And this helps me to strengthen my own faith and rely on God. Because there's no head answer for heart question. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I'm, uh, I agree with Vernon that um, this is not something that is bad. When I'm in doubt, the first thing that I will do is that I acknowledge that feeling and I will find an opportunity to retreat from the world, go to a place whereby I can spend my time alone with God. And I think it's very Franciscan because St. Francis loves to go to hermitages when he was um, in 
高。Second question is, what is a typical day of a friar like?、Um, I happen to be ministering at a Saint Anne's Parish in Kuching, Malaysia, and、uh, for us, we are—I live with three other friars. Yeah, all of us are priests, and we take care of a parish. So our life, you know, revolves a lot around the parish. But of course, the first thing that we do when we wake up is to come together for morning prayer. Prayer is the source. Of all our strength, because prayer is getting in touch with God. So after prayer, we have breakfast together as part of community life. It's very important also as friars, as Franciscans, we witness to the gospel by living together as a community of brothers, celebrating our strength and our joys together. After breakfast, we go to the office, of course, and the parish office.、Uh, we have meetings. Sometimes we counsel people. We take requests for for baptisms, for funerals, for weddings, anything, you know, the sacraments,、um, and、uh, that's part of office work. And in the afternoon, there is a bit of time for us, also some free time. Either you can rest. If you don't want to rest, you can do your own hobbies.、Uh, Like exercise or anything that can be beneficial to you, and we come together again for prayer in the evening before setting off to the villages to celebrate mass with them, to preach the word of God, to break the bread with the people of God. That's the typical day of a friar who's serving in、uh, Saint Anne's Parish in Malaysia. Okay, Vernon. How long did it take to finish all the studies until become religious priest or brother? It varies from individual. Sometimes some take longer, but average seven to nine years, and that is into solemn profession. And we are talking about ordination that is an additional maybe two or three years. You know, it can be. Once you are accepted, sort of the first stage of your formation would be called the postulancy.、Mm-hmm. That is uh, about uh, less than a year, just to live in with the friars and experience the life.、Uh, subsequently, at the end of postulancy, then you apply for novitiate, and novitiate is three hundred and sixty-five days, which is a year. So. You go through a very intense period of discernment. Then, at the end of novitiate, then you move on to your simple profession, which means you decide to take your simple vows, and these vows is to be renewed for yearly renewal up to six years. That's maximum, and then from there, you are eligible to apply for solemn profession. So, the first two years is. Uh, sort of preparing you for simple professions. If you are talking about solemn profession, it's generally into your six or seven year. Okay, when you take a solemn vow, it's your commitment to sort of a final commitment to this life. You are not yet a priest; you are a friar, full fledged friar. And for those who discern to go on to priesthood, then you continue your study. Progress from there, lah.、Yeah. Can the friars continue their studies to improve their skills?、Um, one of the aspects of Franciscan formation is human formation. In this aspect of formation, education, my dear friends, is seen as a means. To form the friars, to empower the individual friar to utilize his gifts and learning abilities, to encourage student friars to engage in serious scholarship, critical thinking, so that he would be equipped, better prepared, and able to serve in a world that is constantly changing, to boldly proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ to the modern world. In fact, we invest 
in the formation and education of our friars towards proclaiming the gospel. And during my formation time, you know, while I was still studying, and my formator often asked me this, how do you see yourself in building God's kingdom or contributing to the common good? You know, discerning our gifts help us to identify our unique contribution to the communities, to the society at large, and especially our primary call, our fundamental call to repair the church in today's world. So knowledge, my dear friends, is not so that we may have more, but so that we would be able to, in an ethical way, serve the society at large. Friar Robin, how does it feel to be a friar? It is difficult to describe, but I think if I summarize in few words, I think I'm proud to be part of this community with all the works that the friars are doing around the world. Second, I feel responsible. I feel the sense of responsibility of continuing the good works that has been done in the past. And I think I'm excited about what is to come. Always feeling joyful and peace to live among the friars. How about you? I'm very proud to be a Franciscan. When I was looking for my vocation many years ago, I was very attracted with the life of St. Francis. That is why I joined the Franciscan. Because when you become a Franciscan, you can do many things in your ministry um, with your gift and with your talent. If you feel the stirring in your heart, if you feel the Lord tugging your heart, come, speak to us, join us. Do not be afraid. Katakan ya kepada Yesus, jadilah Franciscan. If you have this sense of adventure and want to discover yourself and to share your gift so that you can glorify the Lord, come and join us. Anang takut, aram jadi Franciscan. Kada kosizai, kano jumadi Franciscan. Contact us now, vocations.ofms at gmail.com. channel of your peace where there is hatred let me bring your love where there is injury your pardon Lord and where there's doubt to faith in you make me a channel of Sadness ever joy. O oh, Master, grant that I may never see so much to be consoled as to console.